Hey guys, it's Lisa and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be making over a few items to go in my store and we're going to start with this little chair bottom. Uh, this is one that I had worked on in the last video and and I made the, the wall hanging out of the back part of it. And now I've taken the little holes that the spindles came out of and I filled them in with clay and uh, and then sanded it down. And now I'm putting a couple of coats of the color drop cloth. That's a Dixie Belle color. And, uh, and now I've mixed this color to go on the legs. Uh, and this is... I tried to get moss green from uh, the Waverly moss green, and I feel like it was a lot like it. Um, but I used um, mint julep, collard greens, and some of the um, kernel mustard. And I, I couldn't tell you what ratio. I just kind of kept adding till I got this color. And and this was exactly the color that I was I was going for. So I just kind of mix a little at a time until I feel like the color is what I want. And uh, and it took two coats to cover it. Well, not two full coats for these legs, but I did have to do some touch up on the legs. And um, and I do some light distressing, but not a whole lot because that blue tries to come through. So. So I didn't do a whole lot of distressing on this. And now this is a, a transfer that I had left over from from uh, the one that my friend left me quite a while back. I've used so much out of this. And this is uh, an Iron Orchid Designs uh, transfer set. And uh, the name of this one was Floral Anthology. So I'm just kind of cutting pieces from a larger stencil in this and just kind of letting it go off the corners here. And I get out of frame on this other corner and so I just put a little there also. Uh, and um, see there is that whole one minus this, these bits and pieces, but I couldn't think of an item that I wanted to transfer with that much color on to be that large so i thought just kind of kind of taking bits and pieces off that one would be a better idea and then here's what this the the little i call this a stool but it actually i, I made it with the idea of maybe using it as a table between two rockers on the front porch because i feel like those tables need to be uh, short so that's kind of what I had in mind, but it could be used as a stool also. And now I'm going to make over this little purse. And I've been trying to find some vintage purses because I, I did a, um, a video not long ago using one. And I just really liked how that turned out. So uh, I've been looking for purses that open up like this. They don't necessarily have to be vintage because we can make them look vintage. This one is is vintage but not as old as I would like for it to be and this is just cloth um, it's just made from old tapestry but it paints well and uh, I just give this one coat because you can faintly see the flowers through this but I kind of like the look so I don't bother putting another coat on this and I paint around the top of the inside just enough so that you don't see any of that um, fabric which is very stained on the inside and then I put some um, I put some blocks of wood down in this just so that it makes it easier for me to put this transfer on because I don't want it to give too much so this transfer is just part of a set that I've been working on for a while um, and I'm not certain about how to pronounce this so I'm just going to link it in my description but like I said I've just been using bits and pieces of this and um, this, this particular part of the transfer right here worked really well on that little purse. And now I'm just arranging some flowers in this. And, and this is totally up to you here. Just whatever you think looks good in yours. Uh, this is some flowers that I've actually been trying to get rid of or trying to use up that I've had for a while. Uh, I, I ordered them and got them and wasn't crazy about them, but they're going to work in this. 
So I just kind of keep adding. I did put some floral foam down inside. I didn't glue it. So this is completely removable. Uh, but I'm just kind of adding some bits and pieces here until I'm happy with the arrangement. And I didn't say, but I did go back before I did this arrangement and uh, I just took this outside and sprayed it with a clear matte finish uh, just to seal that chalk paint in because I didn't want to use wax after using this transfer. I have before, but I'm always leery of it pulling the transfer off. This purse is like this with a flat bottom so that it sits up and uh, opens in the top the way these do or seem to be really hard for me to find. But a couple weeks ago, I actually ran across four. Uh, three of them at, were at one thrift store and then the other one was at another. Uh, and I paid a little more than I generally would for these. So I think I paid like six to seven dollars each on these. Um, this one was probably six because it had some stains on it, but uh, it was still worth it to me because uh, I can get easily get 24 out of this and, and maybe more than that. So I'm just going to keep picking them up when I find them because I do think they make some really neat uh, arrangements. And I think they have a really neat shabby sheep look to them. So once I have um, all my floral in here, then I'm just going to take uh, uh, this um, doily, and it's one that has some damage on it, and I'm just kind of cut it in two so that I could use the other half, and I'm sorry I'm out of frame here, uh, but I just kind of cut it in two, and then I'm just going to drape it over the front of this little purse and glue it from the inside. And that's all that I'm going to be doing to this, and we'll call that one finished. And I just love how that turned out. So the next item that we're gonna be working on is a mirror. And I thrifted this mirror for, uh, for $4, I think. Um, but I'm going to be uh, painting it. And it, it is that plastic, uh, it's kind of a heavy plastic, but it is plastic. And uh, that's not, a problem because uh, chalk paint covers plastic really well so uh, on this one I'm putting a couple of coats of sandbar and the reason I'm using the color sandbar is because I want to get some dimension in this color so once I put a coat of the sandbar on this and let it dry well then I go back over it uh, and dry brush only uh, the color drop cloth and I do that because like I said I want to add some dimension and color here so uh, once I get this covered well with the sandbar then I just dry brush some uh, some of the drop color drop cloth over the top of it and I don't bother taping anything off uh, I don't like to do that at all on round mirrors because it's so hard to get that line right uh, to get the curve right and um, it's so easy to clean chalk paint off glass so um, so like I said I just do all this without taping it off and then once this is dry well then I go back over this with um, with some clear wax and um, just to seal it and now I'm adding a transfer to this one and uh, I will go back, uh, it'll probably be tomorrow before I put that uh, transfer in in the, um, because I'm away from work, so I'll put it in the description tomorrow. I'll try, try to add that on there. Uh, but I'm just um, putting a transfer on here that I felt like fit. Uh, this particular transfer had um, a border around it and it made this a square. Uh, transfer and I didn't want that so I just uh, avoided that border and then I can use it on another item later but I think it just took a very drab dated mirror and turned it into just a beautiful cottage core piece I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in the next thank you so much for watching have a great evening and God bless you and your family